thank God for your life, and I thank you uh, for being um, an honest uh, uh, supporter of my my channel. I thank all my sponsors, um, Mr. L. Again, I say thank you so much for 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 your support. I thank you for the the equipment. I also thank you um, watching me. Um, if you are new, um, I humbly encourage you, as I always do, you know, to share support by subscribing to the channel and helping it grow very steadily. Right. So. Um, Marriage is, is a beautiful experience. Um, I ask this very candid question. Are you still single? Are you searching? Have you found that lucky person? Or you you are yet to find one? Um, are you thinking of remaining single for the rest of your life? You have not even planned. You've not thought of um, looking for that that, that um, lucky um, uh, life partner. Well, uh, if, if you haven't thought of anything like that, I think the advice I'll give to you is um, God said that it's not good for man to live alone. You know, so in his own plan, he decided to get a life partner. So the scripture makes it very clear towards that. He made man fall into a very deep sleep. That was the very first time, um, you know, operation as in body works. Um, God working on the body, um, cutting a portion of it, taking one out, you know. Um, that was the very first time that happened. You know, so God was, I can confidently say that he was the first, the first ACK doctor and the ACK surgeon of the human body. He took um, a rib and used it to create a woman. And then when man saw that beautiful woman, quickly responded, that this is one of my bone and flesh of my flesh. You know, so when you meet that special one, you feel, you feel within yourself that yes, this is the one, this is the one God wants me to live the rest of my life with. You know, so clearly having a life partner, is an important thing in every man's life as well as in every man's life you need to have a life partner it is it's a great need it is really a great need of every human being you know so i have um considering my experience um you know um, i have been able to identify five things i um see very much necessary or important you know for you who may be single and still searching to consider in your search of a life but no still with me i'll be right back um yes thanks for uh staying with me right so i said earlier we are actually looking at um five key things you should consider being single uh, in your search for life but no whether you are male or female or whether you're not a woman either way um you should consider them you know so first amongst them is the background the background of the prospective life partner the background is very much important where your spouse your prospective spouse um, is actually coming from the the hometown of the person the family uh, to which he or she belongs um or from which he or she comes um the siblings the person um, has the parents of that person you know their history um getting to know how they do things how they interact with each other how they welcome people into their home um their, their style of life what what actually do they do they do um, as far as they as a family, you know, are concerned. So making checks, carrying out a survey, a very detailed one, um, doing a very um, down to earth, honestly, in that background check or checks of your prospective files is not supposed to be underrated. You must take it to the highest level and ensure that it's properly done. You know, it will get you to really make an informed decision, right? Because bear in mind that marriage is not journey I have a video on that you know uh, things to avoid um, you know doing and your preparation uh, for the marriage right so you look for that video and then watch it a bit more yeah so it's not a social journey <clears throat> marriage as for the rest of your life divorce is not an option God didn't did it and he never supports it you know so for as long as both of you are going to understand each other you will go very far so carrying out a background check is very much important it must be considered now the second thing to be taking uh, notes of is the interests of your pr prospective spouse. What what does he or she like? What does he or she not like? What um, you know gets him or her easily um, angered? What um, um, are his or her quiet moments um, when he or she is angry? You know how does he or she, you know so those things. Um, what food does he or she like best? Um, things that actually make up. What she finds or takes so much delight in um, must be of much concern to you. If you know if you know her interests, um, it will also help you 
to know how to relate with him or her. You know, just so both of you can make the best of partners, you know, together. So finding out more about her interests, asking her questions, what do you like, or even getting to know her friends, and um, the kind of friends that she moves along or he moves along with. Um, and then asking them to brief you or educate you much more on what the prospective uh, spouse has for um, her interest or his interest uh, really is very, very necessary, you know. Now, the third thing is, um, or the third um, point to take notice of this, his or her maturity or level of understanding. Um, it, it's usually said that age is not maturity. Somebody can be very far in age, but low in maturity level, you know. So how does this person think? Um, how does he or she approach issues um, of concern? Um, when there is decision to be made, how does he or she make it? You know, when there is an issue that requires both of you to sit down and talk about it very much, um, uh, very much in a certain dimension and a certain way, um, how does he or she respond? You know, uh, how does he or she manage um, emotions, um, anger emotions, um, sad emotions? Uh, you know, those basic things, you, you try to find out and learn about them. They are very, very important. You know, so um, getting to know how matured the prospective spouse is, is very, very key in your quest for a life partner. Now, the fourth um, thing to also take note of is the spirituality of your prospective spouse. You know, um, so here you should try to find out about um, the religion he or she is attached to. Um, how connected he or she is to their religion. If he or she is a Christian, how often does she or he go to the church? Um, studying the scripture, um, engagement with church friends, um, you know, so all those things. How often does he or she pray? Is, is this like prayer life one that you um, will be so much impressed with or one that will call for you to um, have to work on, right? So um, when you get to find out again about these things, uh, it helps you to know how to connect with your prospective spouse. And then the very last point is temperament. Temperament is very important because when both of you know your character makeup, it helps you to know how to handle issues in your marriage. So basically, there are four temperamental forms. We have the sanguine temperament, we have the choleric temperament, there is also the sun, um, the phlegmatic um, temperament, and then the melancholy temperament. And then there is the supine temperament, which is the makeup of the four basic uh, forms of temperament. You know, so um, when you are able to figure out that perhaps your wife is phlegmatic, it will help you to learn more about how phlegmatics behave. When he or she also finds out that you are sanguine, it gets him or her to also learn more about how some wines behave. Uh, knowledge of each other's temperaments also helps you to, to know how to um, handle each other when you hit certain moments or certain uh, stages uh, in your lives, you know, as couples. Um, you don't have to underrate these five things. They are very, very important. If you really mean um, or if you really are very serious about getting life partner, consider these five things. They will really get you to make the right choice and also know how to make your marriage work. Keep this in mind. Marriage is not for the faint hearted. If you are deciding to get into it, then go prepared. Fully, not halfway. If you have that full um, that fullness of thought of having actually prepared yourself very, very well before getting into the marriage journey, it much helps you and gets you to learn. Okay, thereby having several experiences to share with other people, you know. So, I, I wish you all the best in your search for life, partner. Um, it's never easy, but there's one thing I need to uh, let you know. Consider prayer. Don't just go searching for life, partner. Talk to God about it. And let him know that, Father, this time, this is my greatest need. I need life, partner. I know you are the one who gives what is best to your children. You give to Adam. You have given to others who trust in you. There's my thing now, Lord. Please do the same thing for me. And when you give me or you bring my way, that person you want me to live with, let me have that conviction in my head that yes, this is the person or this is the one. You know, and when you believe in that prayer, 
Okay? It will work for you. God will not disappoint you. He will give you the best. You will so strongly desire to have, you know, come from Him. I wish you all the best. You know, I wish you all the best. I pray that whoever it is you may find, both of you join together, will journey on. It's your best to be a part. Right? If you have not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and let's keep growing together. I wish you well.